So uh, we're outside Sean's house here. Got the whole group with us. Got Michael again. Got Sam, Hannah. His missus is out here now. So uh, you, can't, you haven't got too long of you to run. Like you've got to be back in an hour. Uh, <laughs> Sean's uh, going to come on the bike with us as he can't run, and then um, we're going to head out for a long ride later in the day. But first, this run, this should be about 20 k's. We're going to come back. Sean reckons he's going to cook us pancakes again, which will be lovely. Um, and then we'll head out on the bike around the Alcudra track for a three to four hour ride. Should be good, shouldn't it, guys? Looking forward to it. Last yeah. day, what were we on day 16? So oh, we're, yeah. We're on day 16. We're going to have a little bit of a chill out after this. Yeah. Uh, a few days easy to recover and adapt, and then crack back on again with another yeah. block. The, the best thing about today, which we're both absolutely buzzing about is the fact that it's the last day of training for the blog and then we've got three or four days of recovery and we like yeah. so we've been talking about this for the last two days just get through <laughs> sunday can't wait to get through sunday so <laughs> we can't wait to just tick these sessions off so we can uh, have a bit of chill out not do so quite so much training recover and uh, see uh, a little bit more of the touristic side of uh, dubai so we're about to head off for the run the plan for it is uh, just a steady pace, so it'll be about an hour and a half, and uh, normally it's 19 to 20k, just at an easy pace, probably 440 per k average speed for it. Um, I don't think anyone's got any efforts planned, but you never know with these guys uh, what they might do. <laughs> Not today, mate. Not today. Hannah nice reckons steady. that she's going to do 4 minute k pace, I aren't think you? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll run a bit slower for you guys today, though, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> just bluffing your way out of it, just go full send and. <laughs> Now looking forward, different location this time, close to the cycle track. And I think we're going to head up to some dirt roads. Yeah, apparently this is uh, on trails. Sean's uh, told us to come out here because uh, this runs on trails and this will be our first trial run in Dubai. So you'll uh, be seeing what the trails are like in Dubai for the first time uh, with us. Mission complete, three weeks. Heading back home. So, we've done about 10k on the trails, and now I'm on this cycle path. We've been on here for about 2k. It's quite nice. Gets the legs turned over a bit quicker. Like, we're currently running 426k pace, whereas on the trails it was about 440 ish, because the sand made it a lot more hard going. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a nice way to finish it off. up a little bit now, nothing on it, currently 342k pace and uh, we're going to pick this up a little bit from uh, now until the end so probably about another 4 to 5k and we've probably done about what 1 to 2k where we picked up a little so um, yeah it's a good way to finish the long run it's quite typical how I'd normally run them back home start off easy and then just progress the pace in a little bit so the last 20 to 30 minutes you're knocking it on for me I try and do it 330 to 340k's so working but not too hard
Okay, so literally just finished the tempo. I think probably dropping 25 minutes. I think we did about 20, 25 minutes. Like it started off quite slow, picked up. The last mile split, or 1.6k split I got was uh, 5.47 for the mile, and that probably works out 3.35k pace-ish for, uh, for those in case. But yeah, felt good. How do you feel, Michael? Well, it's there. I, li I like it when you just Cheers. think you're starting off easy, and you do actually, but we were running on sand, tracking down some camels. How do you feel though? That's what you want to yeah. know. People want to know, they want to know the pain. They want to know where you're feeling good. Now you're going to kick ass I'm and just, goodbye. <laughs> just they want to virtually know. build it up like to run. But it felt really good actually. It's hey. nice, the, the heat is so nice. I said to Joe, take off your shirt, man. He wouldn't, and then he's, uh, he took him off and then he, he went. He's, he's trying to say, basically, he's going to fucking kill it in Dubai. <laughs> and uh, we both want to know, sun's out, so the guns are out. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> What way's the beach? What? That way! That way! <laughs> and uh, that way. as usual, Sam is uh, not on time, holding us back. Like, we can't even see him in sight. So, uh, anyone who says that I'm bad at timekeeping, it's because I make it up on the road. Unlike Sam, he needs a head start. Sam propped a one piece. Yeah, Sam propped a one Sam piece. <laughs> well, if his coach tells him jump, he says how high. If he says go for a piss, he says when and where. And if he says run slow, He'll definitely take you up on that and run slow. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do a couple of k's warm down now. 18.5 uh, on the clock, so we'll head up there, meet the others, and we started back in that state there. So probably about another five to six minutes, something like that. Really easy cool down, just sociable pace, chatting to each other, and then uh, have some breakfast and uh, get ready to head out on the bike a little bit later. Right, so been back about an hour and three quarters now from the run. Had some lovely pancakes, haven't we, Sean? Yep, beautiful again, pancakes. Sunday again, he's made us pancakes. Did that, did that the other week, so he's really treating us well. Look, as you can see, Sam's on time again. Tim, is there anybody else? Yeah. Like, I thought I pumped my own tyres up. I thought that you. Might have been me. And now, uh, now about to head out for the ride about um, four hours, three and a half, four and a half hours, like depending on how we feel and uh, what each other's doing, but probably be about, for me, I'm hoping to do between 140 and 160 Ks. We'll see how I feel. How far are you hoping to do, Sean? You've got a, uh, you've got a deadline to be back, Yeah, I have a deadline. I'm working at 245, so I'll do probably about 70 K. If we're feeling good. Asking back. Throw in a few tempos if we're feeling good. No more tempos. If the, <laughs> if the legs are feeling good, we'll throw in a few tempos. Last, uh, last day of a decent block of training since we've been here, like, We've like smashed, haven't we? Really, Sam. Like since we've been here, we've been like training like pretty hard from the start. So we, we we just really cannot wait until we get this ride done. Because then it's uh, chill out for four days um, where we can just listen to our bodies, see how we feel, not set an alarm, and uh, probably do like one sport a day. You know, maximum two, but it will be a low intensity. So and only short sessions. So uh, yeah, just a case of ticking the box and getting this one done, and then uh, coffee time. <laughs> So, for everyone that's watching this, random uh, question, you can comment, let us know in the comments below. If you had to be one animal, what would it be?
All right guys, so it's the end of the day now. Uh, just got myself cleaned up a bit, had some food, and uh, I'm feeling really refreshed. And also I'm absolutely delighted that that is the end of a training block because uh, it's been pretty hard since we got here. You know, we've been here 16, 17 days now, and every day we've been on it from the start. And uh, today was no different. We started off at Sean's house. Here's Sean, getting some fuel in as well. <laughs> so um, when we got to Sean's house, um, we did 20k run. The first um, bit we went through uh, his estate and got on some really nice trails. It was my first uh, go at trail run in Dubai and on the soft sand it made it a bit harder. But really nice running through the desert. Something completely unique to me because we don't get anything like that back home in uh, Norwich. And then after about 10 to 12 k's we got onto the cycle path and I started running a bit with Michael. And Michael uh, I think you want to see what we had <laughs> so he started up in the pace a bit we both felt pretty good and uh, we decided to do a bit of a tempo for the last bit so we did five kilometers on the path where we just upped it a little bit each kilometer and uh, got down to about 325k pace towards the end for a little bit nothing too hard but a really nice way of finishing a long run off you know just gradually working into it and getting it down to like 73 pace or a little bit above 70.3 pace and then it was an easy 1k with everyone back together again, back to Sean's house where we refueled, had some pancakes. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have bonked after the amount of pancakes and croissants and everything I had on the ride, um, even though it was 164k's. So, but yeah, anyway, after an hour and a half, we went out on the bike and it was a 164k ride and the plan was zone two, but normally I would do some tempo efforts on a weekend ride. but. I was feeling a bit tired, you know, it was the end of a block, so it was just a case of getting the miles done, four hours in the saddle, um, ended up being the total distance was 164 k's, four hours, 20 minutes of ride time, uh, in the sun all day, perfect way to finish the training off. And then yet, now you see, we're at the calf, had the fuel, and uh, feeling good, and really looking forward to chilling out for the next three or four days, not stressing about training. What I like to do is see how I feel each day, and I'll probably do one, one session a day, if I feel good, I might go for a swim, and then the next day I might go for a bike or a run. Um, I'll do that until it gets to Thursday, and then Friday I'll get back into training. It'll be what I'd normally do, a solid weekend, and then hopefully do another 10 days to two weeks of uh, really good training before freshening up again, taking a few easy days. Anyway, that's enough of me chatting on because I'll be going on all day, but if you liked the video, let us know what you thought in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.